So here's a little experiment I'm going to carry out. I've got eucalyptus oil, garden weevils, plenty of them in our silver bait in between the fronds, a 500ml water bottle, and for demonstration purposes, I've got a glass dish with just a piece of white underneath the glass dish, just so that you can see them. I'm going to see if they keel over and die. I'm going to add two caps full of eucalyptus oil to the 500ml bottle of water. I'm going to put these little critters into the glass bowl and let them stay in there for a little while running around. Then I'm going to give them a spray with my garden mix that I've made of eucalyptus oil and water and we're going to see how long it takes before they keel over and die. And so here they are in the bowl. You'll notice that they all actually look dead. They're very good. Mm, I can't zoom in properly. Let's see. No. Yep, there we go. They're very good at acting like they're dead when there's movement around. But if you leave them long enough, you'll soon find that they start running around. So I'm not going to spray them until they're running around because I want to see whether they die with the spray. And I can't tell if they're looking dead to start with. Very clever at acting like they're dead. Very, very clever. See that? See that when I blew him? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, he's alive. No, I'm not. I'm dead. I'm alive. No, I'm dead actually. Be back soon. Well, I left it for a while and they're still acting dead. But a little breeze actually shows they are in fact alive. So I'm going to actually spray them now with my, I don't want to drown them because I don't want them to, for me to get a false reading of them drowning. So I'm just going to lightly spray them with my eucalyptus oil and water, just lightly. One little spray, I gave one little spray. I'm going to leave this on here for a minute and see if we get any crazy actions from them. I'm gently blowing them still to see if there's movement. And there is. There's this little guy who doesn't like that eucalyptus oil, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm going to leave the camera running now. I'm going to knock him down because he's trying to escape. Ah, see, playing dead straight away as soon as you touch him. Now these little critters like to hide in straw and in cool places during the day. So if you think your plants are getting totally devoured, chances are it's these guys. They will lay underneath pots. I picked up a seedling tray one day and there was about 50 underneath one seedling tray all gathered together in one little clump. This guy here is alive and wake and running. Well, they're all alive. Just some are smarter than others. Rather than running it now, I'm going to pause. It's 3.50, oh, we'll say it's four minutes. It's been, mm, no, we won't do that. I'm going to leave it running. I can always fast forward the video. Still some movement when I blow. Don't let them trick you. If this experiment works, this will be ideal for avocado trees, vegetable gardens, especially silver bait, because they, as I said, they're absolutely devouring the silver bait. See, those three are actually alive. It looked like there was one dead there for a while. They're all 
trying to climb on each other to get out of the way. They like to sit in clusters. When you find them, they'll always be huddled together like this. One little spray didn't do too much. A very light spray, I have to say. So, focus. I'm going to do another couple of sprays in there. You can see they certainly don't like it. It's not just water that they don't like. Like if you sprayed them with water, I'm guaranteed that they're escaping. They're trying to get away from the eucalyptus. It's not going to work, guys. I will wait until you're dead. They're dragging. Look at he's dragging his friend out of that droplet of water. How incredible. Is he dragging him out or is he using him to climb on? Well... Oh, got them escaping all over the place on the other side of the bowl. Hey, dude, you're just caught up in a droplet. You think I'm trying to save you, but I'm actually using you to climb onto to get out of the eucalyptus oil. These guys here, nips. Ah, eucalyptus oil, no. I don't like it. Now I'm wondering... If you've got a eucalypt tree and ground it up into pieces and spread it underneath your plants, whether that would also work as well. Okay, guys, come on. Time to die. You can see they certainly don't like it. So even if it doesn't kill them, I would say they would not like going on plants that have eucalyptus oil sprayed on them. This is far better, get down, this is far better than using some sort of chemical. Chemical free, eucalyptus. Hi fella, guess what? Not my friend. Whoop. Yep, yep, yep. In you go. They find it a little bit harder to play dead when they've got the eucalyptus oil on them because it's really aggravated them. I love the smell of eucalyptus oil. It's also brilliant for killing nits. Mix it into conditioner and put it onto your child's head or your own head and comb it through they're still alive i'm actually going to pause my video now oh look at this escapee and i'm going to come back in 10 minutes time and see if they're dead I think I'm going to have to cover this bowl up though because they're all trying drastically to get out. I don't want them all over my house Oop, like you. So I'll cover it up and I'll be back in 10 minutes. It's 3.18. They're tucked in. Hopefully they won't get through the cracks. I'll be back in 10 minutes. So 10 minutes later, we've still got, still got some action in here. This, the little ones seem to be coping better than the big ones. They're still alive. Just. Some are more livelier than others. Still climbing up. Still trying to get out of this bowl. Not happy to act dead as much as they were before i'm actually going to put a little bit of straight eucalyptus oil onto a cotton bud and see what happens if i hold it in front of one of these weevils this one here is being quite active so i'm going to hold it in front of him so i have dipped my eucalyptus but my cotton bud into eucalyptus oil and we've got this little fella here running and i'm going to hold it in front of him Whoa. What about him? He 
if I draw a line there with the eucalyptus oil, a circle, whether he would cross that line. I'm going to watch him for a little minute. Have to be careful because meanwhile they're trying to escape out of the bowl. Okay, no, just drop straight to the ground. Okay. Hmm, let's look for another really lively one. Draw a circle around him. Draw a circle around him. Let's see if they go out of that area. Well, he is. He's crossing over. But not this one. So far. Oh, yeah. He crossed over. And he's even climbing on it, which is interesting. So it doesn't seem to bother him as much. Are they just getting, oh, or is he keeling over? Let me get in focus here. It's a bit hard. There you go, in focus. There we go. Hmm. I'd say this one looked pretty dead, but yeah, he's come alive again. They get caught up in little droplets of water. Is this one alive still? Yeah, see, now you think they're dead and they're not. He's actually coming up to get me. I'm going to knock him off down here. There you go. So they obviously need more than just a little spray. He's hanging on for dear life. Off. Off. There we go. I'm going to spray them again. If I was out in the garden, I wouldn't just do very light spray. I'd probably go pss, 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 on and plant. Let's see how that goes. Again, though, I don't want to appear to be drowning them. Doing a bit of a backstroke there. Synchronised swimming.
Well, I would say I would try it on my plants to see if it didn't deter them. Some might die. It could help stop them wanting to come to that particular plant. I've got some beautiful basil out there that I was growing and they've eaten a lot. They just devour it overnight. They live in the soil at night and they climb out during the day. Uh, sorry, the opposite. They live in the soil during the day and they climb out at night. Get in there. Up onto your plants, anything that's touching the ground. So if you've got a tree and you've treated the trunk with oil or something, if there's a leaf touching the ground, they will climb up. Up the leaf, onto the tree, and then they'll eat. They'll just keep eating. And they are known for eating the roots of plants too. So I'm going to get rid of these guys. I'm going to go and um, wrap them right up and put them in the bin. There are some that appear to be totally dead. Totally dead. Same with the bigger ones. This smaller one here is a real, real go-getter. The bigger ones are dying quicker than the littler ones. So I reckon if I kept up spraying my plants and did it religiously over a couple of weeks, I could help eradicate the issue. Now also if you look in the ground and find larvae, of these guys that look like little white maggoty type things i haven't seen one myself but i googled it they can be kept at bay by you just raking the soil and damaging them at their larvae stage um, chooks are brilliant for them chooks scratch around the earth but chooks also ruin your soil so well not ruin your soil but they dig holes i've had holes dug in my yard by one chook that I'm still trying to fill in and that chook's no longer with us. These guys are looking all pretty much had it except for one or two and they're the smallest ones. Let me know how you go. Leave comments for me so that I know how your weevils died. <laughs>